Hello and welcome everybody to the uh, Immaterial Gamers Podcast, episode 153. We have me on the far left, and on the stream, Stefan's in the middle. There's a, there's the way from Stefan. And, and then we have, uh, who, wait, uh, hold on, um, what's, uh, what's his name? Oh, Ryan, Ryan, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We, we only see him once every other week now, so it's hard to tell yep. who he is anymore. Yeah, it's because there's all that back-end stuff that goes on for Immaterial Games. Yeah. And, I need to and you've out. been the most active on Twitch and everything, so you, you've been doing a lot. And I love the so. fact that Terry says that I've not been on the podcast for like two weeks. At least. And I think you're a voice in... <laughs> Maybe two or three weeks ago, I can't remember now. And but yeah, so I guess we'll start this out how we always do it. Surprise, surprise, or maybe not. There's something that we we have to do now. Or oh yeah, I have been doing recently. Well, you did in two um, weeks ago. Good. Well, there's, there's what we did two weeks ago, but there's also an update. Um. What I'm going to try and do with all our streams going forward, and I know it's not going to make sense if you're listening to the, the, the audio version of the podcast after the fact, but sometimes there seems to be followers happening to come across Immaterial Gamers, the Twitch channel, in between our streams. And I don't just want to like go, oh, they followed and never mentioned them. So there's one out of date follower that happened between the Fall Guy stream yesterday and our recording the podcast today. Oh, is there? So, um, hello. Hello, Fewest Smile 588 Welcome to the Immaterial Gamers stream, uh, or the channel and following, and hope you enjoy your stay, and we appreciate your follow. I don't get why I don't see those. Uh, in your mod panel, the activity feed, or if you're on the Twitch bit itself, there is the stream manager. One second, I'm also going to try doing this. Uh... uh, All right. We're going to try and make sure that if there aren't any followers happening in between the streams, that we catch everyone in between stream. Yeah, I just have to do this, get onto the stream. So, what's been played? Oh yeah, what's been played? It doesn't really work without the auto tune. No. So, I'm on the left, so sadly I have to do it first. And I'm in the middle of trying to get into our Twitch so that I can actually see it. For when we do something that happens in the news, I need to be able to know what's going on in it too. Because yeah, right now I have no idea. So, just give me, bear with me for 30 seconds. And, oh, I just realized my audio is set to the wrong one. And now everything's going to be screwed. Uh, Alright. I'm not going to mess with anything right now. So, I think, Ryan, you're going to have to explain to me what happens in that video. Okay. <laughs> I'll just have to listen to the news without the audio and see what I get. So, Fair enough. Because all of, I just realized I screwed around with all of my audio settings. And... That's the best way to listen to any news. Yes. <laughs> the Ryan's explanation of it. No, so not know what's going on and just say, say what you think. Uh, nowadays, yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. News is just apparently opinion, not fact anymore. So, so yeah, what's been played this week? I didn't do much. I don't think. I think I just played Minecraft. Um, messed around with a bit more with the create mod. I think I played a little bit of te- Team Fight Tactics. Ah, like how far how far are you on that? On Team Fight Tactics? Yeah. I, have, you, have you gone through the have you gone through the like the Pain of Glass mission yet? No. He has no idea what you're on about. I have no idea. No, what he doesn't, does he? <laughs> I told you. You know, so like to advertise. Stupid focus. Hey, get back there. We go. Hi, hi. They're a little off center, anyway. but it's all good. Eh. We're, we're, we're anything at Immaterial Gamers, if not professional. Exactly. Because it took me an hour to get my camera working properly. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry we're late, guys. Uh, we were going to start uh, at 4 o'clock, and I was pretty much all ready to go and everything. 
Until my camera yeah. decided it wanted to be 27 minutes behind. Yeah, as well, since we're now, like, looking to try and maintain an active Instagram presence now, for real this time, <laughs> not just, not just, I mean, I, I, I saw, due to, due to the surge, and I explained it in the Moonlight stream on Thursday, we're, we're getting people to monitor the Instagram, Darius and Steph, uh, not Steph, Darius and Steven, um, uh, monitoring the Instagram, but every now and again I'm hijacking it and putting some weird out of context photos in as well. Um, just something to replace the 42 Sounds posts fun. of blank of blank squares that were the IGTV pictures. But um, I think I got in the way of Terry talking about oh, Team Fight. Oh no, Team Fight Tactics. That's what we were talking. Where were we? Yeah, like, oh yeah, you were. I said I'd um, played it. About how you didn't do the missions. Uh, what mission? What missions? Because I don't see any of these missions. There um, is a oh, what is it called? Stern help Steph. Uh, Sky Glass uh, Origin. Yes. In when did that come in? About two weeks ago. I don't remember seeing that. But yeah, it's like just like a giant screen of a like a stained glass window that was broken in the Team Fight Tactics Reckoning teaser video. And so oh. you now play games of Team Fight Tactics fulfilling specific missions in order to repair the sky glass. Okay. Um so I generally like spend X amount of gold or accumulate fifty interest in a game and, and stuff like that. But then you fill them all up, and then last mission, I believe, Steph, you said is, um, what is it finishing top four? Oh, finish first. Oh no, yeah, oh, finish first. Top four. Yeah, it's top, no, four. It's top four. Top four. In 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 essence, win a game of Team Fight Tat. Yeah, any any of the top four is a win. Yeah. So sorry, um, I'm just. Yeah, you should probably try that. I, I've finally fixed my OBS now, so I can actually see the subscriptions and stuff like that. There's an actually activity oh. feed on OBS I've got working oh. now. So I should be able to see that, as long as I know when the last stream went out, I should know when we got our last followers. The funny thing is, if we got a follower during this stream, it would pop up, because I have the activity alert. You've got the alerts. Yeah, I put the alerts in this. So... I'll definitely notice if I'm live. Because <laughs> it'll scare... Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I will, because right now my audio settings are all screwed up and I never fixed them. Everything's routed through the wrong audio output right now, so... Yeah, so if there was any example of Terry full difficulties... Today is today, number one, today but has been to add to that, as soon as I'm done this stream, my whole computer's being reset to square one. Which is going to give a whole bunch more terrible difficulties because that means I'm going to have to redo my whole OBS because I don't know how to properly export and re-import it. I might try to look into that before yeah. I do anything. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I, as much as I, as much as I haven't streamlined my OBS layouts, it's going to be much more of a pain in the butt to uh, redo everything. So, other than that, what have I played? I know just before the stream started, I started playing uh, uh, Kerbal. Kerbal Space Program. Thank you. I am the latest update of Kerbal Space Program has the latest and last update of Kerbal Space Program One has been released. So I'm like, maybe now I will start streaming it again. I'm thinking of it being a game that I stream. Once my computer's back up and operating, hopefully working after this reformat. That's the main reason I'm reformatting, is because I've sort of broken my computer. It's in a very unhappy position right now, where I think some of the drivers aren't installed properly or forgotten. Registries might be screwed up. I don't know. All kinds of things are going funny with my computer right now. So hopefully a reinstall of Windows will... Hopefully fix my driver, my graphics driver's issues, my graphics issues, anything like that. Hopefully it'll all be happy and go fun. 
But yeah, back to Kerbal. Uh, the latest and last update is out, and I have forgotten the name. Um. Oh, don't worry, I've done that. While I, while I was talking about going through um, some of the... What's it called? Uh, there we go. Kerbal Space Program Twitter. Please say it's on there. No, I can't read it. Oh, I can read it. Twitter. No, it's too much junk. Uh, what was the last update? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right, I I'll try and find the update. Because when you tried to find the update, the stream went weird. Did it? It shouldn't have. I Oh, I lost one frame. What? I only lost one frame. How would you notice that? That's weird. Uh, because I've got the preview on my phone at the moment, and it went. That's weird, because it literally says I've only lost one frame total from this whole stream. But... Hmm. Like I said, my computer needs some. My computer needs a reformat. There's some real funny things going on here, and on final approach. Final approach. That's the one. Yes, the final update is also called the final approach. And basically, they've added a few new th features. Mostly, uh, retextured some of the planets that haven't re been retextured in older patches. So pretty much everything's had a retexture now. And they've added Easter eggs. There's random Easter eggs that change every time you um, make a new save file. There's a green monolith that appears in a different location on the planets based on your it up randomly on every new save file creation. Not not every time you save. It's just when you make a new game, like when you start a new world. Um, it will generate in random locations on every planet and moon. So it's basically a thing to try to find it. A challenge to try to find it. Um, but yeah, I decided I might start trying to figure out how to play Kerbal Space Program again, now that it's on the last update. But the positive news is that all the people that have... There was some major drama back when team the squad team got bought out or something i can't remember the full drama um, oh yes um in regards to the um, space program 2 wasn't it so the squad got bought out and then got like shafted and has to do with the game that I'm playing, so. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Yeah, so, Stefan, what have you been playing? Um, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> good, good, good stuff. Uh, I'm playing the new expat, the new added to WoW. Chains as it of blinds, as, as we get blinded by your white face. Is it, yeah. yeah, I'm being blinded by it as well, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'm playing the. Well, Ryan could probably explain that better than me, to be honest. So I'll leave that. Okay, to done. Then. I guess I will. Um, but I've also been playing One Piece. Warriors. One. Uh, Warrior. D Dynasty Warriors. One Piece. Right. Okay. I knew I could say that. So you know yeah, I mean. the One Piece Warriors game. Yes. Where um, it's got basically up to date from where the actual manga in that is. Um, it is a little bit further ahead now, the manga, but it, it does try to fill in what it believes the story should be. 
Um, if you've not played a Warriors game, it is... Uh, to be honest, I don't even know how to describe this. I've played it that much. I don't know how to do it. Um, Severely overpowered character steamrolls through thousands of yeah, other characters and then creates a similarly strength character. It's a strategy game where you control, like, one person. And you have to make yeah. sure your army does certain things in certain ways. Uh, there's side missions. There's main missions and side missions. You literally not have to do any of the side missions. That's completely up to you. Mm. But it's um, basically a slaughter all. Yeah, slaughter them all. You're killing thousands yeah. of people every single But you're always playing someone who's overpowered anyway. Yeah, it's always always the case. It's like, be it the actual warriors of history from the Warring States period, in or like the like Sengoku Warring Jedi, Kingdom. and yeah, yeah, or whatever other warriors game they brought out. I mean, they brought out um, warriors for everything. And it's not it's not the only one that they've done with manga, is it? They've done a Berserk one, and uh, Aslam as well. I can't remember. After You're one. an Aslam. I know they've got Samurai Warriors, you've got a Stop Roche. talking about your ass, man. You've got <laughs> Dynasty Warriors itself. One Piece. Um, one Piece has all of them. Really? I didn't even know that they had one until you told me now. Yeah, they've got four. I've been playing four recently. Uh, but the, the way the thing is... Gundam yeah, as well. They've got, oh, yeah, they've got Warriors Gundam. Gund. Uh, and Hyrule um, Warriors. Yes, That's, I've been playing that as well on my um finger. I've kind of gone back to the Warrior games. I've not played <laughs> them in years. Yeah, they kind of got a little... I don't want to say they got samey, because that's what, what the people app? like about them. I think, I think they seem to have gone back to basics since the absolute mess that was Dynasty Warriors 9. Absolute mess of a game. God. I don't I don't I don't think I even played now. Yeah, that was the one that was basically a giant open world map. But ran like ran like poop. I know that because Well, this was at the time where my PS4 didn't just groan at any game that was being played. <laughs> it only groaned at, 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 at games that tried to be more intense or intensive of the CPU than beforehand and Dynasty Warriors 9 was one of those like I put it in and I'm hearing Lubu talking about like wanting to take over for everything and then I'm suddenly hearing him suddenly hearing him drown out a little bit as the PlayStation's fan just goes did it did it, did it red ring once he's jet engine no it, no, no. That happened after a game lobby of Hot Pursuit that I played with you all those times ago on the Xbox 360. Did a lobby with you and then went and tried to do another lobby with you. And then it was oh, yeah, it was the Xbox that Red Ring. I remember. Red now. Ring of Death. Yeah. yeah the PlayStation, PlayStation Red Screens. Is a, is a, a jet engine. Yeah. You know what I just realized? I don't think. What you just realized? When we're on the mod panel, we count as viewers. We don't. That's lame. I'm not Heck, in if we're modders, don't we play. don't count. No, but when I was on the oh, thing... Yeah. I mean, a lot, a lot of, I like that all of us have got previews of our... Uh, our Twitch, and I think it's learning. But yeah, right now I count as a viewer. Now oh. it's... Oh, damn it. Good. Oh, is a lie. Cake is a lie. Biscuits are a lie. Trumpets are truthful. Everything's a lie. No, trumpets are truthful. Yeah. yeah, so this will be a weird listening experience for people to... Yeah. So. To experience. Is that everything that we've played this week? Um. Uh, Ryan needs, oh, no, I, Ryan hasn't got... I, I forgot. He started talking about yours. <laughs> I thought he had gone. <laughs> Oh, so I also. He is. 
he was just just just, just throwing away. Is he? You didn't even know who my name was before we started the. Yeah, podcast. we're still not sure who you are. Chicken wing, and... chicken wing, Project chicken League wing. Project Lead Material Game. Chicken? Anyway, um. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. I'm having lag on. Like uh, Steph talked about. I'm having lag on Ryan's yeah. camera. Stefan, say something for a second. I don't wanna. Yeah, it's just Ryan's camera. Weird. Whatever. Let's just go with it. Anyway. <laughs> of domination, of World of Warcraft. Uh, um, oh, I'm yeah. getting it so as well. The new... After seven months, I don't know why he is getting it, because it seems to be fine for me. Anyway. Ryan's you uploads know what? die. Careful difficulties. It's not. It's it's not immaterial game as if we don't do this. Exactly. Um, so yeah, new expansion for not new expansion, new patch for the current expansion of World of Warcraft, which is Shadowlands, has added the storyline that the more is increasing. And Terry, your dead face is like. Mm -hmm. I'm. It's. It is very distracting trying to listen to you and your voice is all off. I'm like, what is he saying? Then, then, I'm distracted by your lips at the wrong time. Look away. I'm going to. Look away. I'm just going to talk with you. How about that? This is where I win yeah. because I don't pay attention to any of your video. Literally, you it's. See, what helps here is I've now just got rid of the preview because I'm now just looking at the red light of my camera. Yeah. Oh, that's bright. It just seems to be the. I'm blinded. You're bright. But yeah, it's it's like when you're watching your own stream on Twitch and you see people's mouths moving and there's no audio coming through or it's totally wrong audio. It was just melting my mind. You you do know I when I do pay attention to the monitor, I do not have this card up. I actually have the stream up. And that's why I literally go off as I'm watching. That's why there's times I hear you speak and I'm thinking, do I speak now or do I not? Yeah. If I'm actually paying attention. Oh, well, that's, that's your own damn fault. That, that's just brain that's like melting. It. All right. Sorry, Ryan. Anyway, do you want something on World of Warcraft called Corthia? It's effectively a new, oh, well, new zone, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's now part of the moor, but not part of the moor. Um, a lot of quality of life improvements to allow people to catch up, so now there's no longer... Well, upon completion of some store requests, you can now mount in the previously unmountable zone. They always do that. That could be taken out of context. The, the unmountable zone. Um, no flying and no sense of them putting in the achievements to gain flying as of yet. So um still land 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 based mounts only. There we go. I can speak word. Um but the most the most fun update to Chains of Domination is the reworking of Torghast, the big roguelike tower that's going on in it. Um, Terry, you can keep pretending to. What, what the hell are you doing? Are you I'm, flying. Or are you... I'm flying. That, that's I'm flying. I am she flying. I am flying. Something. <laughs> but uh, chicken yeah. Chicken wing, chicken wing, we hot dog and baloney. Oh chicken and macaroni. Please stop. Singing. <laughs> Please stop, singing. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, updates to the big titan giant tower that is different every time you run it. Like no Keep death counters mind. anymore. Um, there's there's an item called the Box of Many Things. So there's now talent trees that permanently increase your ability to do Torghast runs. It's now score based instead of death based. Um, so now you have to earn a certain star level on each layer of Torghast before you can move on to the next layer. Um, you maxed out. Yeah. Well. yeah, I've maxed out the season cap at the moment, but they'll increase the season cap every week. So that you'll eventually get stronger, and they'll add the other layers in there because they've added more layers in because it wasn't difficult enough. They need to make it more difficult. Hmm. Um, there, there, there's something about a new raid for for those that care. 
Um, yeah, you can tell I don't raid. You can tell with that statement that I wouldn't be invited to any raid groups anytime soon. It's um, all about the Pentiums, baby. It's all no. It's all it's all about Torghast. Okay, it's all about Torghast. Yeah, Torghast, Torghast, Torghast. It's all about going on a tar. My favorite part is when I kill a thing. And kill lots uh, more I, things. I love killing things that are purple. Oh, don't even get me started on that. That was an annoying. One. So they've they've. You used to be in Torghast that every wing had a, what they called a torment, a big global debuff that was related to that wing. So there was that one that was f just full of fire and furnaces and anvils and it was like a big blacksmith torture wing, um, which would reduce your maximum health by a percent every five seconds. You keep going up based on difficulty and stuff like that. They got rid of that now. Um, layers now just have random torments from a pool of them, and one of them was um, Phantasma Coalescence. So what does that now do? And again. So Phantasma is the currency that you get during the the, the okay. run of Torga. Um So you spend it on upgrades in there, and then it all disappears at the end of the run because it's only used there. Phantasma Coalescence causes random slimes to just generate as you're going on the run, taking a portion of your phantasma and then looking to book that. it. So, oh no, enjoy it. It's just a, it's just still an annoying torment. I mean, you know, for I mean, that torment over probably the possibility of some others. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some of them are some of them are bad, but I do like the no. I guess I do like the idea of like ninety of your phantasma just disappearing in this blob and it just wanting to go. Later, suckers, and it's tries like to run. Like you kill it, you don't. You get more than ninety back. Yeah, yeah. That that's the advantage. If you if you do kill it, you get your your phantasma back and some. Um, and yeah, like you say, Steph, some of them are better than others, like claustrophobia, which is any time five or more enemies surround you, they deal more damage to you. Which if as we a we didn't really feel the effect of that. No. I think that's because we had a good run on that. Again, it's like, as with all roguelikes, and Torghast is essentially a roguelike minigame inside World of Warcraft, you know, you're going to get you're gonna get good runs, and uh, hello. Hello? Uh, uh, XL Esport says hi. Oh, that might hey. Be, um, that might be a good time to move towards the news. Yes. So um yeah, I um so Yes, we did tag you on Twitter. We did, um, because we were we were gonna well I was gonna try and talk professional business story and then realise that's well Yeah, um So there was a story that had come up over the weekend in regards to XL and this appeared on Sky News and I didn't see it until this morning because I follow XL on Twitter because I'm a fan of the team. We've made a, a reference of it in our Immaterial Gamers Fantasy League about us not having any bias, uh, bias with teams and me immediately then drinking out of an XL esports mug. <laughs> Which, of totally course, you don't have right shit. now. Um, hold on. <laughs> He's going to get it. <laughs> there you go. Do I, do I, do I, it is there. It is there. It's 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 a nice mug. I like it. Absolutely worth. It. Thanks for the follow. Um. Oh, there's Stefan's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, I forgot that. I, I forgot that. I set that up. There's random random members <laughs> of of immaterial gamers come. Yeah. I I I imagine <laughs> you you. you you take that fanatic talk back. As you can tell, we're all friends here. We are, we are, we are, we are an Excel house. Generally, Martin froze his, his fanatic in. Steph, are you gonna are you gonna say something about another another? Oh no. no, Excel, Excel, I'm so I am so sorry. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. Who, who, who too owed G2 and Vitality your team there, Steph? I, I don't give a damn. That's I don't, right. I prefer them because they are the proper underdogs. Hey, hey. They're, so <laughs> They're the ones who just can't finish anything, and I like them for it. Well, yeah, all right. Martin, Martin uh, oh, Terry. Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I see green, and I immediately thought it was... Yeah, no, well, well, Terry, we threw you into this because you're like, I want to do a prediction competition. And oh my God, I mean, on Wednesday, you're going to see what's happened because we've been doing this prediction competition for, this is the fourth split now that we've done it, isn't it? Yes. Um, And yeah, and you know what? I'll, I'll, I'm I'm going to say right now, I, I did some predictions that I am not proud of. I'm I'm not proud of them because I went logical. And then I watched Saturday's game, uh, no, not Saturday's game, Friday's games, and I thought, screw this, to hell with this. When it came to the LEC poster of who's going to win all these games, I just went, nope, nope, heart overhead, forget it. And for the first time in four splits of predicting stuff, I got five. And I uh, thank you, Excel, for that, because that was, oh, mm, chef's kiss. Uh, I won't forgive it. He's going to do it again. Uh, <laughs> He's going to betray you. Oh. He'll betray you. No, 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 no. For the sake of this mug, that will not happen. <laughs> I will not... Right, look, look, let's think of it this way. It's either going to be this mug or this mug. It's, it's you know... Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't believe I just called myself a mug in front... Oh, jeez. <sighs> well, this is going out every... All right, so um, let's get to that no. news topic. That, that news story um, that Sky News brought up the talking that Excel have got got financial backing from, according to the 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 headline, City Heavyweight. Now, let's just let's just say for London and 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 the city and city trading, they're probably I'd say they're infamous for not 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 backing stuff that they don't have faith in. So to get this this funding and investment. From from Biggs, yeah, just a little, <laughs> just a little just seventeen a million. Little seventeen milli. That's you know that that is seventeen million more than we would pick up. Um, so no, that's a good that's a good thing. Yeah, and, congratulations and, you know, on that. XL have been growing. It's, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and you know that's that's the thing for this to. I mean, I guess on on this idea for for the fact that XL are being mentioned on Sky News is very big in it in it in itself and and getting sort of esports mentioned as as a thing and it's just showing the growth that's 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 going i mean i mean you know i'm sort of losing my words now but yeah it's just there's so much that that, that goes on and like i say we've been following it and it's been slowly creeping up i do remember a few years ago that i was just in the middle of like we were in the middle of a pub quiz and we were just watching bbc sport host the like the first couple of rounds of a world championship it was um like radio one dj dev and uh, a couple of casters i think um i think dayman was was one of them and just just watching that on the bbc and i'm just like hold on right snooker football league of legends <laughs> sure i'll take it and it's you know it's clear it's clearly works on that but the funny thing was and this is what made me laugh about it because i was just watching it and and excel will know this because they post it on the twitter and we 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 got the clip. Um, Ian King, business correspondent and presenter for Sky News, uh, hosts a City Live show between 10 and 11 on Monday to Friday. I didn't pull that off the Wikipedia at all. <laughs> I used to actually remember when he was on. I remember when he was used to be on 7pm 7, 7 till 8, hosting live from The Shard in London. Oh my god, what is up with me? Anyway, yeah. So, um... He he was introducing an interview regarding this this story, and it was at this point credit to Ian. He looked to go for those um, yeah. those the games that XL represent. League of Legends, obviously, we we know that one. Fortnite, and there was a, another another little well known game that Riot also do 
Um, so Terry, have you, have you got that clip there? I do, here it comes. Bear with us. Excel Esports is one of the UK's fastest growing esports franchises. It competes in League of Legends, Fortnite and Valorant. In a sign of just how mainstream and increasingly popular esports is becoming, it's confirmed that it's raised £17 million to fund further growth. That story was first broken by our city editor, Mark Kleinman, on Friday. We're joining me now to talk about this is Walter Schleifers. He's the, uh, Schleifers. He's the uh, chief executive. Well, uh, Walter, very good to uh, see you this morning. You've attracted some very, very big city names behind you uh, in this fundraising, the likes of Michael Spencer and uh, Alan Howard. How did you get them on board? And we're back. Yeah, so, um, yeah, um, well-known Riot Games game, Valorian. Um, as, as far as I know, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a big Valorant player, but I know that it, it's, it's, it's Valiant. And Valiant, oh my god. Now I can understand. Ian, I understand. I've just called it Valiant. It's Valorant. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to, to bring that in there. And I'm sort of I'm happy, you know, very, very happy that this is, you know, starting to kick forward for esports and for Excel in general. And We'll go for the good look in the next game. I'm just going to double check. Who have, have you got this week? Hold on. Schedule. Come on. I don't do this on the fly. No, we don't do anything on the fly. Ah, yeah. Mad, Mad Lions on Friday. Fnatic. Yep. On Saturday. Easy 2-0. <laughs> Then absolutely, I mean, oh, uh, Stefan's been mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this will be good. I mean, like I said, those oh god, those those roster swaps. No, right, let's let's be G2 Vitality. No one, I mean, apart from Excel and me, of course, sorry, come. Marcoon is the best you know player in the league. Yes. You know what? You know we can take this as a take this as a clip. Marcoon is the best player in the league. And you can count on that. <laughs> so um yeah, no. One player we'll look forward to that and that'll be No, one no, player does not make players. a team. You definitely I'm all have players, to make a team. Well, each individual performance to make plays to that team, especially if it's a good high performance, will help. Or actually, that's not true. Sometimes you can get one carry to take you right through. Yeah. But then, if as everyone else does that job, then that's all that, that all works. And it's XL's been doing for people who would. XL's been doing really good this year. Yeah, nah. My random bot oh, seems to pick them a lot, and they're doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't, that, that, that's the thing that I'm saying. We're doing all these predictions, by the way, and Terry has got a couple of scripts that coin flip or use past performance to determine what's going on, and the coin flip bot is winning. I... It, it just goes to show that anything can happen this year. Uh, absolutely. And that's what makes it exciting and good, and that's why everyone should go and watch it. Yep. And I'll explain all that stuff on Wednesday's video once I've finished recording the audio for it. So, uh, yeah. So, we, we, we've got that. And that's, that's good gaming news. I like that. Shall we move to the depressing news now for people who like other games that, you know, are ending up in the esports sphere and also, you know, trading card game related. I mean, very trading card game related. Sure. The gathering. Uh oh. Particularly Magic the Gathering Legend. So we're not talking about Arena, the highly successful card game, or digital card game based off the highly successful trading card game. We're talking Legends, the unfortunately unsuccessful MMO that became the unsuccessful ARG, uh, ARPG, not ARG. I mean, it probably might have actually succeeded if it was an alternate reality game, but um, yeah... They've not got out of beta. Perfect World and Cryptic 
Gaming are closing Magic the Gathering Legends in October, having not come out of open beta, and will therefore also be cancelling the planned console releases of Legends, uh, citing that they missed the mark in regards to the design of the game. The mark in the design of the game was heavy monetization. What do they monetize? And microtransactions. Everything. Oh. It's a perfect perfect world entertainment. Or the Ark client. Um they have a habit. You've played Neverwinter, haven't you? Yep. Martin's played Star Trek Online, um, sort of other games, sort of heavy basis on sort of free to play mechanics in the game. And I understand that. I understand about microtransactions. I can hear arguments for and against the fact that they're in there in the first place. The games are free to play, so there does need to be some sort of sustainability. It's not like it's a subscription game. It's not like... Yeah, they need to make some money. Uh, I love the way LOL does it. Yeah, the, the yeah the sort of the cosmetic sort of yep. idea, um, and you know to not put pay to win sort of stuff in there. Unfortunately, that that sort of flew over the heads of um, uh, of Perfect World, who decided that they were going to throw all those microtransactions in in the beta, and that's the that's the thing that doesn't click with people. That the game is still in development is not even in open release yet. Um, so, you know that's yeah, you know, that's 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 a an annoyance in itself. So you know, that's 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 the major the major problem, and I guess this is this is a thing. I guess we can follow the 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 YouTube game critic and professional wrestler uh, James Stephanie Sterling, and a lot of other commentators have been saying this as well. The moment you put microtransactions in a game, it doesn't matter what stage the game is in. You are saying this is in a playable state. Come play the game and pay for it. Yeah, I hate when games do that. Yeah, it's 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 bad. It's it's very bad. Uh, like if they say it's in beta or alpha or something, okay. If I play it and it's bad or buggy or unfinished, that's my decision. Mm-hmm. But if they say it's finished, yeah, and I play it and the game crashes constantly, okay. Game crashing, I can actually bear with because sometimes that's not their client or it just doesn't cooperate with your hardware. But if it's a console game, it shouldn't be crashing for one. But, yeah, like, buggy games or things that you can't even complete quests or pick up items for quests and stuff like that or anything. Like, if, if it's incomplete, it shouldn't be counted as complete. It should be counted as a beta or an alpha. Absolutely. And this was the, this was the, the sort of the, the thing that I had with this. I can say it now. Maybe because it's closing down. I took part in the alpha for uh, Magic the Gathering Legend. I didn't get the opportunity to, I didn't find any massive bugs that needed reporting or anything like that. But I can tell you this feedback between alpha and beta was almost non existent according to other alpha participants, particularly the fact that it felt like they didn't take any um, suggestions regarding the game and brought it into the beta. I can, I can tell you some of this as well. The prime example, right at the beginning of the game, tutorial mission, you meet Ralzarek one of the planeswalkers in the thing, and you've got cutscenes that are going on. And it clearly says in the bottom, cutscene is work in progress. Do you know what the difference between the alpha version of that cutscene and the beta version of that cutscene? They put that word in. They re- they removed the watermark that said work in progress. Oh. <laughs> that, that's... Exactly the same. Yeah. Um... What they also did is that the idea was to complete the tutorial and you would be able to then do, or you'd then be able to join group activities with players. Martin and Steph tried to sort of join and and play in regards to it. Me and Martin went through about two hours of gameplay, still couldn't join up with each other. 
from what people were saying on forums and after that you still need to do another two hours worth of gameplay before you could join the party. Wait, what's this uh Legends. Oh yeah. I never actually played it. Oh you Neither never did got into it, right? I, so I was, so waiting, I mean, I was waiting for you to tell me how long it took you to get together. Uh yeah, and the answer was we never did. So you know that's that's just yeah, it was problematic in itself. Pretty right? brutal. Yeah, just just a little. Um, so yeah, it's it's a shame. R.I.P. Magic Legends um, didn't even get to. Didn't even uh, didn't even get to try it. Really. Yeah, didn't even get to didn't even get to thrive. Just just wasn't happening. So yeah, unfortunate for them. Um, so just, just about, I'm not being, I'm not being uh, ignorant. By the way, I'm just trying to sort out something regarding. Uh, there we go. Done that. I'm assuming you're trying to sort out what I sent you. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to figure out if there was a way if I could do it through OBS, but I could not. Yeah, but uh, it it is all done, and I've got that sorted there. So, um, so has anyone else got anything that they want to talk about? I know this is usually something that Terry would say, but I guess since I've just been talking and talking, I'll get well. No, I everything I've found in the news is all hardware, really. Everything's talking about hardware right now, nothing's talking about gaming and development and stuff like that. Um, I'm really not finding much. Like, there's nothing. Huh? I, I'm still sort of uh, starstruck that we got a big <laughs> viewer like that too. So, yeah, same here, same here. It, I, I don't. That's twice in a week now that I've been completely caught off guard. Well, we know what we had to start doing. Just uh, tagging, 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 more. tagging people, especially if we're going to talk about them. Yeah, we don't want to get I, I, we don't want to get uh, pissing people off by tagging everybody in our stuff. But if we're do if we're going to be talking about them like we were, it's definitely a good idea. Yeah, um, I mean that's that's the thing. I'll I'll say this: this is the first time that because we 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 put stuff out on the social media. So like I said we've been putting it out on Twitter, putting it out on Facebook, on the on the group pages, and going forward instagram um but it's the first time that i actually put a preview of what we were going to talk about in there which is why that had yeah which is why that had come up so uh yeah i'd say that's that's a, a successful option of going forward yeah in, in regards to so um I guess I guess if we can if we could if we we do that if we can find some more news about other esports team and tag them in before we go. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I guess on the idea the so we've we've immaterial games has now followed, you know. Yeah. One of ten esports teams in the LEC. Uh, there's also the ERLs. There's the there's LCS. I well, guess. what we should what we should try to do is get them all in to one of our conversations and see <laughs> see if we can get them to have a <laughs> have a talk off. <laughs> That'd be I funny. I just imagine it. So we, you know, in the, in this conversation as well, it's like Steph had mentioned Vitality, Martin had mentioned uh, Fnatic, you know, Excel themselves had mentioned G two Vitality, Mad Lions. Just you know, we should have tagged them all while we were doing it. That would have been funny. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We, hi, we talked about this, 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 and this. Anyone want a rebuttal? <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. Yeah. Other, like I said, for news-wise, though, I just I was say, yeah. Everything's hardware right now. The everything's Windows Eleven or the the difficulty oh, yeah. of finding. Farewell. I was about to say farewell the blue screen of death. Windows Eleven will be bringing the black screen of death instead. Is, oh yeah, infamous blue screen of death might be turning black in Windows Eleven. I see that now. That's funny. Even though the new blue screen of death is not quite as blue as the old blue screen of death. So they, they did move towards being able to do whatever they wanted anyways. But yeah, everything's uh, talking about like, 
on, you can't find 30 pro, uh, 30 graphics cards, 30 series RTX graphics cards, or your computer won't run Windows 11, or this is what you need to run Windows 11. That's what everything is right now. Everything's talking about those. Or games that I don't play, so I'm biased against. Yeah. Um, what was that? There was other stuff. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV just broke, well, I say just broke, 17 hours ago had broke its concurrent player record on Steam. Oh, wow. It's getting a proper surge in users. Well, that might be um, partially to do with that. Helped in part. Yeah, I'm just, I, I, think we might be, I think we might say the same thing, that there's the pre-order of the... uh, Pixel. Final Fantasy Pixel coming out. Oh, oh, yeah, Pixel, yeah, Pixel Remaster, isn't it? Is yeah, the, what they're calling it. It's like, which is why they took some of the um, earlier Final Fantasy remasters on Steam. They just took them off the store to prepare for Pixel Remaster. Also, it's been a couple of months now for growing to happen of the new free-to-play option for Final Fantasy XIV. The entirety of A Realm Reborn, which is the original game. Is free to play. Okay. You don't need to subscribe until you move on the storylines. Um, Heaven's Ward, I think, is the next expansion onward. Um, it does have the same, uh, the same limitations in gameplay as World of Warcraft would have. Martin can tell, can attest to that in the fact that you can't, as a free player, you can't join parties with other players. It's going to do that stuff. Like, uh, That's annoying. Yeah. I mean, you can still matchmake, you just can't yeah. join parties. You can't, and you can't add friends. Well, you can probably add friends, but you just can't join those friends and all that stuff. All that fun stuff. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, so in awesome. some other news, obviously Steam's in its summer sale, so things are on huge sales right now. And I decided... I was going to, uh... Oh, yeah, they can add you, but they have to... The, uh... Oh, really? Yeah, so that's the... But, yeah, so I, I was looking through oh, one of the games... Oh, God, it's even that bad. I completely forgot about that. But I, I decided to look at the Steam sale and see what was on sale, and I noticed The Sims 4 was on sale with most of its DLC. So I went down to the bottom where it says buy all buy game and all DLC, and for uh, a whopping six hundred and eighty dollars, I could buy the whole game. Six hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> yeah, like okay, for you guys it'd only be able, for you guys it'd only be like four hundred pounds, but still. Buy four hundred pounds. No, but that's with all the DLC and everything. I still won't fucking buy yeah. it. Yeah. I, I, I like, have spent that much. Well, that's the worst part is the people that have most of the DLC don't realize how much they're spending on it. Because you buy the game. Oh, this update comes out. It's only another 50 bucks. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. By the end of it, you... That's how they get you. Yeah, they, they get you good with that one. But holy cow, I looked at that total price and I was just like... Yeah, but then you have to think of it, of how much money all gamers spend on things. Yeah, no, it... From buying the game to consoles. Ooh. All 75, 56. Yeah. <laughs> we spend quite a bit of money on it. But yeah. Yeah. Alright. I think that's... Everything? Unless you got some other news, any of you? I don't have anything. Um, no, I think I'm 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 sorry. That... We Windows 11 talked last week, so I don't really see a point in doing that again. Mhm. Mm so. No, yeah. I think I think we're I think we're all good there. Uh, that's that's close to yeah. I say that's close to an hour. That, 55 that minutes. Works. I think this is the sort of that's sort of the right time for it, isn't it? Yeah, we usually aim for 45 minutes, give or take. So. We gave our 45 oh, minutes. Man. Hopefully, if I get my computer running tonight, then I'll probably try streaming either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I do have some running around to do. So I don't know how much time I'm going to have. My schedule's been 
never ending lately. I don't know. Every weekend I'm home, it's just go, 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 go. Mm-hmm. So sadly, I haven't been able to do much, but. Maybe I can throw in a quick stream tomorrow it. before I uh, do what I gotta do. Fair enough. No worries. I mean, like like I've been saying in the streams that I've been doing recently as well. We're we're going to be working on sort of getting the schedule. Um, I'll give some sort of like news on this. Ooh. There's going to be a slight rebranding of the logo and design of Immaterial Gamers that will come out. On I the- I've. Third, third birthday, so that's Sunday the 1st of August. Ooh, I've seen it! I've seen it, guys! I've seen it! Yeah, yeah. We've, you guys we've, we've all seen it. You guys will get to see it said, soon. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, it's... Darius has designed the new logo, and you know what? Yeah. Again, that's the second time we've used Chef's Kiss today, but... Uh... Yeah, no, it's... It's nice. Yeah. All so, right. Uh, so that that'll be that'll be happening there, and and as part of that, like I said, um, yeah, we're gonna look at getting another stream schedule, uh, going. But currently, at the moment, it's it seems to be or is seeming to be at the moment, play session live is happening on a Friday night, and then it's Ryan's weekend takeover. Yeah. Which uh, every day of the every the day of the weekend you seem to be live streaming now. So. Yeah. So. That's just just how it works, and we'll we'll keep going, and we'll just hope that we can get stuff that you'll be able. You to go, enjoy girl. And at least have a laugh at. Oh, <laughs> I try to get one of those in there as much as I can. Yep, yep. I, that's where I know at that point Terry has watched at least something that's going on. Because if I see a you go girl, it's it's great. Sometimes Terry jumps the gun and gets it during the countdown, which is yeah, which is the thing. Which means the first thing I have to say before we even starting at that point is. Yes, I do go, girl. Welcome <laughs> to the Immaterial Gamer stream. Hi, how's it going? So, um, yeah, no, I, uh, yeah, that's 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 all that's left for me to say. Uh, so, um, I guess was the the close out there, Terry. All right. Well, if you like what you've seen, like, follow, subscribe. We're even on Instagram now. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I haven't got that, in, in fact, I will update the Twitch information so that it's got our Instagram. In- yeah, we should try to take some uh, pointers from the XL Esports uh, Twitch. Their 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 uh, socials are all fancy on theirs. So you go take a look at theirs after this and see if we can figure out how to do that. I will do. So yeah, like, follow, subscribe. I, I There's audio versions of uh, this podcast available on anywhere you can get a podcast. Almost literally, I have not found one service yet that I could not find our podcast on. We're everywhere. You can't avoid it. Just just get it. And Yeah, you could fall over and stumble on an Immaterial Gamers podcast these days. It's just mad. Yeah, we're just throwing them out everywhere. Just, just so. if you search Immaterial Gamers. The, we don't have to worry about SEO ratings for, for, for Google. We just we just appear. We, exactly. we appear all over the place. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, have a good one, everybody. Bye. Wave to the audience, everyone. Bye.